keeping with this country's commitment under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC, and its proactive stance on climate action, SM Jalil and Company Limited has embarked on an awareness-driving initiative by partnering with the Carbon Zero Institute of Trinidad and Tobago, CZITT. CZITT is a non-governmental organization that recognizes the need to accelerate the transition to cleaner and more sustainable activities in Trinidad and Tobago. In that regard, the Secondary Schools Climate Quiz Competition brings awareness to the need for Trinidad and Tobago to embark on initiatives that encourage a reduction in its net carbon emissions and the promotion of environmental sustainability. 150 secondary schools in Trinidad and Tobago take part in the show's two seasons, with the preliminary rounds taking part at the schools, so as to reduce carbon emissions from transportation, and final rounds designed to take the form of a game show knockout competition. SM Jaleel's Fruta brand is proud to be the title sponsor of this competition. Competition rules. Each contestant is asked one question per round. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. If the answer is incorrect or time runs out, the opposing team has a chance to steal for 5 points. Team questions are worth 20 points. The winning team will move forward to the next round. Hello to you there and welcome to the CZIT National Secondary Schools Climate Quiz. I'm your host Sachin Ramsabag and we are on to episode number two and it's a battle between St. Stephen's College firstly and of course Astrogill's College of San Fernando and we are very happy to have both teams here with us but before we move on to the competition I must welcome uh, the founder of CZIT Mr. Donald Baldeo Singh to bring some words of welcome and of course some words of encouragement from the CZIT family. Thank you very much Mr. Ramsabal. Well here we are two wonderful South Trinidadian schools, very engaged on the environment, very aware of the climate catastrophe. In fact, both schools, like all the schools in our knockout rounds, have taken the catas climate catastrophe pledge and dedicated to taking action in the fight against climate change. We are very deeply happy and honored to have you all here and to be continuing to work with you as sees it. Best wishes in the competition. Thank you very much, Mr. Baldeo Singh. And of course, we jump right into the competition. Thank you for joining us today. As with many other days, you could have chosen to look at many, many other things, but you've chosen to look at the secondary school's climate quiz and support these young people. And of course, uh, all of us are involved in this entire uh, delay that we should have been taking a long time ago. That's climate change, the fight against climate change. We join my good friend here, Mike Kimi. How are you today? I'm good. Lovely. So let's jump right into the competition. The first contestant of St. Stephen's College, and your question is as follows. What is an example of extreme weather caused by climate change? Is it A, less frequent storms? Is it B, increased hailstorms? Is it C, increased fog? Or is it D, more frequent droughts? D, more frequent droughts. That answer is very much correct. Yes, more frequent droughts. Well done. How are you today, Winstey? Lovely. So we jump right into your question. How many countries have ratified the Paris Agreement? Is it A, 190? Is it B, 189? Is it C, 197? Or is it D, 205? A, 190. That answer is incorrect, unfortunately. My Kimi, you have a chance to steal five points. C, 197. That answer is also incorrect. The correct answer should read 189. B. We jump across to Precious. Precious, your question is as follows. The Earth's average temperature has been steadily increasing, which is the process by which is the process by which the Earth is being warmed. Is it A, the core of the Earth radiates energy towards the surface of the planet? Is it B, stars emit heat energy that warms the planet? Is it C, sunlight is absorbed by land and water and re-emitted as heat, some of which stays in the atmosphere or is it D, sea and land breezes bring warm air to the atmosphere? C. That answer is very much correct. Yes, C is the answer. We jump across to Skylar, and Skylar is looking very, very nervous. No need to be nervous, Skylar. Uh, tell me, what class do you belong to? 
Six lower two. Six lower two. College. Lovely. And what is your favorite subject? Geography. Interesting. And you're in the right spot. <laughs> a climate quiz. Let's go with your question. The impacts of climate change extend well beyond increase in temperature affecting ecosystems and communities. Which of the following is not a consequent risk from climate change? Is it A, reduced food production? Is it B, slowed economic production? Rather, slowed economic growth? Is it C, extensive population migrations? Or D, they all are consequent risks from climate change? D, they are all consequent risks from climate change. Yep, that answer is very much correct. D is the answer. Well done. We jump across to Francesca, and Francesca has lots of badges on her tie. Tell me something about the Interact Club. Um, we participate in service um, activities, like last year, we did a cleanup at the Carney Swap. Very nice. Congratulations to the Interact Club of St. Stephen's College. Let's interact some more with the possible answer of this question. The increase in global temperature is more rapid now than any other time in history. This rapid increase is temp in temperature began in which decade? Is it A, 1960s, B, 1970s, C, 1980s, or D, 1990s? C, 1980s. Yes, that answer is very much correct. Well done to you, Francesca. And move right along, my friends. We go to Anissa. And Anissa, your question is as follows. Let's see. Radiative forcing is the difference between the sun's energy absorbed by the Earth and energy radiated back to space. Which of the following has higher radiative forcing impact than carbon dioxide? Is it A, carbon monoxide? Is it B, methane? Is it C, sulfur dioxide? Or is it D, Nitrogen oxide. B, methane. Very much correct. Yes, very confident answer. Well done. So we jump across to the first male contender in this entire quiz. How are you, sir? Good. Do you feel any pressure among so many ladies? A little bit. A little bit. No, no, no problem. I mean, that's understood. That's understood, sir. Let's see. Let's see. All right. What are two effects of a two degrees Celsius global temperature rise? Is it A, low agricultural yields and decrease in fresh water sources? Is it B, freezing ice caps and landslides? Is it C, less intense storms and landslides? Or is it D, submerged low-lying areas and high agricultural yield? A. Mm. That answer is very much correct. Yes, A is the answer. Move across to Rihanna. And Rihanna, your question is as follows. In which of the following does solid waste often end up as a result of poor disposal? Is it A, aquifers? Is it B, soil? C, estuaries? Or D, the ocean? A, aquifers. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. We go to player number four. Ronaldo, you have a chance to seize this opportunity. D. That answer is very much correct. Yes, D, ocean is the answer. We jump across to Daniel. Daniel, your question, sir. What is the first environmental treaty dealing with a global threat from human activities? Is it A, the Montreal Protocol? Is it B, the Paris Agreement? Is it C, the Stockholm Convention? Or D, the Basel Con Convention? The Montreal Protocol. Very confident answer indeed. Yes, that is the answer. Well done to Daniel. And we go to the final contestant of this first round of battle. And we jump across to Zainab and Zainab. You're no stranger to this season competition. I remember you from last year. Let's see if your experience can assist your team in winning 10 additional points, all right? Which of the following is the second leading cause of global warming of the earth? Is it A, combustion and of combustion of fuel, fossil fuels rather? Is it B, deforestation? Is it C, plastic pollution? Or D, cattle rearing? B, deforestation. Yes, that answer is very much correct. Well done. Deforestation is a big deal, my friends. And, and that's the end. That's the end of the first round, as quick as you like. And let's see what the judges have to say. They've ended their tally. And on top of the game, St. Stephen's College, they're poised on 55. And Astor Girls College, they're on 30. Don't you dare move a muscle. We will be back after this short break. Stay with us. Vitamin, we got the vibes, fruta, real, real nice, fruta. 
Proud title sponsor of the CZITT National Secondary School Climate Quiz. Hi there, welcome back to the show. Thank you for sticking around. We go to the questions once again with Mike Kimi, and your question is as follows. Which of the following is a prime example of a renewable energy source? Is it A, hydroelectric power? Is it B, nuclear power? Is it C, natural gas? Or is it D, coal? A, hydroelectric power. That answer is correct. Well done. Well done to you and to St. Stephen's College as well. We go across to Winsty and your question, what is the Earth's largest carbon sink? Is it A, the ocean? Is it B, the soil? Is it C, the atmosphere? Or is it D, the rainforests? A, the ocean. Yes, very much correct. Quick answer. Quick answer indeed. Very confident. Let's go across to Precious. And Precious, your question is as follows. Which of the following landfills is not managed by swim call? Is it A, Guanapo, B, Forest Park, C, Studley Park, or D, Beetham? A, Guanapo. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. We go across to player number two, Skylar. C, Studley Park. That answer is correct. C, Studley Park. Yes, indeed. And your official question after stealing five points. Carbon dioxide is a key greenhouse gas that drives global warming. What part of the atmosphere has seen the biggest increase in CO2 concentrations? Is it A, lower levels, D, B, middle levels, C, upper levels, or D, none of the above? C, upper levels. That answer is unfortunately incorrect. Player number two, Precious, you have a chance. Um, A, lower levels. Yes, that answer is correct. Five additional points added to your tally, Francesca. Let's see. Let's see if you can add some additional points to your school's tally. If all fossil fuels available are burned, what would be the Earth's average temperature rise? Is it A, 5, 4 to 5 degrees Celsius cooler? Is it B, 4 to 5 degrees Celsius warmer? Is it C, 6 to 10 degrees Celsius warmer? Or is it D, 6 to 10 degrees Celsius warmer? D, 6 to 10 degrees Celsius warmer. Yes, that answer is very much correct. Well done. Well done to you. Let's go across now to Anissa. Anissa, your question is, in what year was it discovered that chlorofluorocarbons were harmful to the atmosphere? Is it A, 1969, B, 1974, C, 1979, or D, 1994? B, 1974. That answer is very much correct. Yes. Well done to Astrogills College in San Fernando. We go across to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, your question is as follows. Name one way in which Trinidad and Tobago can be affected by climate change. Is it A, formation of deserts? B, snowfall in the islands? C, invasion of different animal species? Or D, more intense and frequent storms and floods? D, more intense and frequent storms and floods. Very much correct, sir. Well done. Well done. Answered immediately. Let's go across to Rihanna. Rihanna, your question is as follows. So I'm seeing a badge here. Astrogills College, uh, French Day. Uh, are you a French student? Uh, not right now. Not for A-levels. But, but you were. Oh, what? fantastic. Fantastic, man. Nice. French. Interesting. Which of the following is not a geological site to store CO2? Is it A, unminable coal beds? Is it B, empty oil and gas fields? Is it C, deep saline aquifers? Or D, tree roots? C, deep saline aquifers. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. Player number four from St. Stephen's College, you have a chance to steal five points. D, tree roots. Yes, that answer is very much correct. That answer is correct. Daniel, let's see, brother. All's well? Let's, see, well. If it, let's see if it ends well, all right? Into what group of countries Trinidad and Tobago can be classified? Is it A, highly indebted poor country? Is it B, small island developing states? Is it C, more economically developed countries? Or D, none of the above? B, small island developing states. Very confident answer. Yes, that is correct. Well done. Well done to you. And we go across to Zainab. And who is going to be our final answering contestant for this round, the second round of competition. 
what are two effects of too much exposure to UV radiation? Is it A, musculoskeletal disorders and cataracts? Is it B, fatigue and headaches? Is it C, sunburn and skin aging? Or D, mental disorder and Alzheimer's disease? C, sunburn and skin aging. Yes, that answer is correct. Well done to you and to Ashton Girls College as well. Let's see, my friends, what the judges have to say. And of course, at the end of round number two, we just await and see how things go. Well, what I can tell you is that St. Stephen's College, they are poised at 105 and Astor Guilds College, they're on 65. We just have to wait and see if Astra can play the catch-up game in round number three right after this. Stay with us. Fruta. Fruta full of vitamin thing. Real fruit juice. Not full of vitamin. We got the vibes. Fruta. Real, real nice. Fruta. Proud title sponsor of the CZITT National Secondary School Climate Quiz. Welcome back to the show. Thank you for staying with us. We go to Mike Kimi, and this question is for you. Which of the following are not man-made sources of greenhouse gases? Is it A, fossil fuel combustion? Is it B, cement production? Is it C, livestock farming? Or D, all are man-made sources of greenhouse gases? D, all are man-made sources of greenhouse gases. Very much correct. Yes, indeed. Yes, well done. Well done. Let's go to Winston. Your question, in which city did Trinidad and Tobago ratify the Paris Agreement? Is it A, Port of Spain? Is it B, New York or the Big Apple as it's fondly called? C, Madrid or D, Paris? B, New York. Yes, very much correct. New York is the answer. We jump across to Precious. Precious, what does mitigation mean in relation to climate change? Is it A, measures taken to adapt to the effects of climate change? Is it B, military action? Is it C, naturally occurring measures to reduce climate change? Or is it D, measures taken to prevent further climate change events? D, measures taken to prevent further climate change events. Are you sure about that? Yes. That answer is absolutely correct. Yes. Well done. Well done to Precious. Skylar, here we go. You all started off well. Let's see if you can catch up, all right? Which Caribbean nation is most susceptible to loss of land area from sea level rise? Is it A, Jamaica, B, Guyana, C, Dominica, or D, St. Lucia? B, Guyana. Yes, that is correct. Guyana is the answer. Well done. We move across to Francesca. This round is extremely heated, my friends. Everybody answering with 100%. All right, let's see, Francesca. Which of the following are two man-made coastal defense methods? Is it A, seawalls and jetties? B, jetties and dunes? C, buildings and other infrastructure? Or D, lighthouses and buoys? A, seawalls and jetties. Yes, that answer is very much correct. It is correct. Oh boy, the competition is heating up. And Anissa, let's see how it goes for you. What are some steps Caribbean countries can take towards pursuing a low carbon development path? Is it A, take an action to maximize renewable energy resources? Is it B, giving incentives for improving energy efficiency? Is it C, giving incentives for use of electric vehicles? Or D, all of the above? D, all of the above. Yes, that answer is correct. That answer is indeed correct. She said that answer to me and she was smiling from air to air. Let's see, Ronaldo. Let's see how it goes for you. What would be the average global temperature if there were no greenhouse gases? A, minus 15 degrees Celsius. B, minus 18 degrees Celsius. 
C, 15 degrees Celsius, or D, 18 degrees Celsius? D, 18 degrees Celsius. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect, my friend. We jump across to player number four. Rihanna, you have a chance to steal five points. B, negative 18 degrees Celsius. Yes, that answer is correct, yes. Your official question, we're on to. Which of the following steps has the EMA taken towards sustainable development in Trinidad and Tobago? Is it A, taking appropriate action for the prevention and control of pollution? Is it B, responding to emergency incidents and spills? Is it C, resolving environmental complaints through voluntary compliance? Or D, making recommendations for the national environment policy? D, making recommendations for the national environment policy. Yes, that answer is correct. Well done. Well done to you and to Astro Girls of San Fernando. We jump across to my friend here, Danielle, who's answering very confident. And that's what I like to see in a young man, confidence, all right? Let's see, my friend. What must total carbon emissions be limited to in order to avoid a two degrees Celsius global temperature rise? Is it A, 500 billion tons? Is it B, 2.9 trillion tons? Is it C, 3.9 trillion tons or D, 4.9 trillion tons. B, 2.9 trillion tons. That answer is absolutely right. Well done. Well done, Danielle. Well done to you. We go across to Zainab, and here is your chance now to finish on top of the game. Let's see if you can do so, all right? What carbon emission reduction strategy is being implemented in Trinidad and Tobago in the transport sector? Is it A, promotion of cleaner burning fuels like CNG for vehicles? Is it B, banning of gasoline and diesel vehicles? Is it C, major switch to electric vehicles? Or D, all of the above? A, promotion of cleaner burning fuels like CNG for vehicles. That answer is absolutely correct. Yes, indeed, burner, burning of cleaner fossil fuels. My friends, that's the end of this final round of battle Let's see what the judges' tally looks like. At the top of the game, we are seeing St. Stephen's College 145 and Astro Guilds on 120. Congratulations to St. Stephen's College on winning this round of battle and of course winning their competition in this uh, second episode of the CZIT National Secondary Schools Climate Quiz. Mr. Donald Baldeusing will now join me to offer some words of congratulations and of course to continue his promotion of uh, environmentally friendly practices. Thank you very much, Mr. Amsterdam. Clearly, both teams were very well prepared. The material is a lot because the problem of climate change is just getting worse and worse. You, you competed very well. Today, St. Stephen's College is moving on in the competition. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to Astra Girls College San Fernando for continuing to show leadership in the area of environment. CZIT is looking forward to continuing to work with you in our special projects competition, in our 1,000 Trees Challenge, and everywhere that we can reduce our carbon emissions. Thank you very much for competing. Thank you very much. Looking forward to you moving on in the competition. to the team from Princess Town, St. Stephen's College. Commiserations goes out to Astrigal San Fernando. But my friends, the, com the competition continues right after this. Don't you dare go anywhere.
Established on the 20th of March 2013, the Society of Interior Architects, Interior Designers, Interior Decorators, Industrial Designers and Furniture Designers of Trinidad and Tobago promotes ethical practices and validates the fields of interior architecture, design, decoration, as well as industrial product furniture design in Trinidad and Tobago. Established on the 29th of October 2021, the Landscape Environmental Architecture Design Society of Trinidad and Tobago promotes ethical practices and validates it's the field of landscape and environmental architecture design in Trinidad and Tobago. Common core values include prioritizing and implementing bio and eco design and material recycling, promoting reuse, restoration, and rehabilitation of indoor and outdoor spaces, reducing embodied carbon of indoor and outdoor areas, and implementing energy saving measures. Our major strategic goal is to partner with local organizations to synergize efforts in the fight against climate change. Fruta, fruta full of vitamin thing, real fruit juice, fruta full of vitamin. We got the vibes, fruta, real, real nice, fruta. Proud title sponsor of the CZITT National Secondary School Climate Quiz. Hello to you there. Thank you for sticking around and battling now our members of the Bishop Anesty High School East. And uh, that's on my right. On my left, we got Trinity College East, ladies versus gentlemen, once again. Let's get cracking with Kaylee. Kaylee, your first question is as follows. Carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere are increasing as a result of anthropogenic causes. Current atmospheric carbon dioxide levels are the highest they have ever been for approximately how many years? Is it A, 50, B, 1,000, C, 500,000, or D, 1 million? Um, I'll go with D, 1 million. That answer is correct, yes. D is the answer. <laughs> we jump across to Jamali, who's smiling from air to air. You're a very happy man, and that's good. Yes. Tell me a bit about yourself. What class are you in? I'm 2E. 2E, you're a Form 2 student. Very nice, sir. All right, let's get to it, yeah? Which carbon isotope do plants prefer to use? Is it A, carbon-12? Is it B, carbon-13? Is it C, carbon-14? Or D, carbon-15? So I will go with um, E, sir. Yes, that answer is correct. That answer is correct. A is the answer. We jump across to Kyra. Kyra, your question is as follows. The atmospheric CO2 concentration has increased by how much since the Industrial Revolution? Is it A, by less than a third, B, by more than a third, C, by less than a half, or D, by more than a half? I'll go with B, by more than a third. That answer is correct. Yes, well done. <laughs> well done to you. We go to Malik. Malik, what sport do you enjoy playing, sir? Um, archery. Oh, very interesting. Archery. Well, let's see if you can get this answer on target. All right. Which of the following choices is not a natural resource found in Trinidad and Tobago? Is it A, ammonia? Is it B, natural gas? Is it C, asphalt? Or is it D, oil? Um, I'll go with A, ammonia. That answer is very much correct. Yes, <laughs> that is the answer. We go across to Katifa. Katifa, here it goes. What did the Montreal Protocol cause industrialized countries to do? Is it A, decrease CFC production in industrialized countries? Is it B, primarily focus on phasing out CFC production in less developed countries? Is it C, gradually phase out CFCs by utilizing money from less developed countries? Or is it D, immediately start phasing out CFCs using funds from more developed countries? I'll go with A, decrease CFC production in industrialized countries. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. We go to player number three, Khalil. You have a chance to steal five points. 
I'll go with C. That answer is unfortunately incorrect. The proper answer should read D. Immediately start phasing out CFCs using funds from more developed countries. Let's jump across to your official question. And here goes Khalil. Rapid urbanization is exerting pressure upon which of the following? Is it A, fashion trends? Is it B, housing and public health? Is it C, diets? Or is it D, technological advancement? I'll go with B. Yes, that answer is very much correct. B, housing and public health. Well done. We jump across to Alyssa. Alyssa, your first question this first round of battle. Here we go. Which of the following are main outputs to the hydrological cycle? Is it A, evapotranspiration and runoff? B, evaporation and stem flow? C, precipitation and through flow? Or D, percolation and infiltration? A, evapotranspiration. Yes, evapotranspiration and runoff. I'll help you there. That answer is very much correct. Yes, that's correct. You know, these words can become quite tricky at times to pronounce. Let's go with Alessio. Alessio, your question, my friend. Ozone is found naturally in the Earth's atmosphere. It is a gas containing how many oxygen atoms? A, 2, B, 3, could it be C, 4, or possibly D? Six. I'll go with B, three. Yes, that answer is correct. Well done. Well done to you and to your team as well. Well, the battle is certainly intensifying, and Isis can probably add some continuous points to her team's tally. Let's see. What is a constraint that may hinder or impede climate change adaptation or mitig and mitigation planning and implementation? Is it A, available funding? B, pollution? C, more flooding, or D, reversal of climate change? Is it B, pollution? That answer is unfortunately incorrect. We go across to player number five. Aiden, you have a chance now to add five points to your team. I believe it's A. Yes, that answer is correct. <laughs> Available funding, indeed. Your official question in this first round of battle. How are you today, sir? I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, you look rather confident and very relaxed. You're much, very much prepared for this, yeah? Yes. I can tell. How much carbon emissions have been produced as a result of burning fossil fuels? Is it A, 300 million tons? B, 600 million tons? C, 60 billion tons? Or D, 600 billion tons? I believe it's B. That answer is unfortunately incorrect. We jump across now to bishops. Let's see if you can have an answer. Isis, you get five points if you get this one correct. Um, is it D, 600 billion tons? Yes, that answer is very much correct. Well done. And five points added to the, to, to the total. And let's see what the judges have to say. The final tally after round number one of this battle, I'm seeing poised at uh, 35, Bishop's Anesty, and poised at 45, Trinity College East. Well done to both teams in this first round, but don't you dare move a muscle. We will be back right here after this. Fruta. Fruta full of vitamin thing. Real fruit juice. Not full of vitamin. We got the vibes. Fruta. Real, real nice. Fruta. Proud title sponsor of the CZITT National Secondary School Climate Quiz. Welcome back to the CZIT National Secondary School's Climate Quiz. We jump into round number two and we go to Kaylee. Kaylee, your first question in this second round of battle. In what year was the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change adopted? Is it A, 1929? Is it B, 1990? Is it C, 1992? 
Or D, 1998? I'll go with C, 1992. Yes, that answer is correct. 1992 <laughs> is the answer. Let's jump across to Jamali. Here we go, my friend. Name one way that industries can make their operations more sustainable. Is it A, keep working environment clean at all times? B, move operations to capital city? C, cease all production activities? Or D, managing waste and pollution produced? Um, A, keep working environmental clean at all times. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. We go to player number one. You have a chance to answer. I'll go with D, managing waste and pollution produced. Yes, that answer is very much correct, Kaylee. <laughs> Indeed. Kyra, here we go. The Environmental Management Act created the first legal framework for the management of environment-related issues in Trinidad and Tobago. In what year was this act implemented? Is it A, 1983? Is it B, 1989? Is it C, 1992, or D, 1995? Um, D, 1995. Yes, that answer is correct. <laughs> well done. We go to Malik, and Malik is going to answer this question correctly. Yeah? Um, sure. Yes, man. <laughs> Let's see. What is the mission of the Environmental Management Act? Is it A, to ensure the protection, conservation, enhancement, and wise use of Trinidad and Tobago's environment? Is it B, to develop recycling in Trinidad and Tobago? Is it C, to nurture all flora and fauna of Trinidad and Tobago? Or is it D, to find persons for littering in Trinidad and Tobago? Is it A, to ensure the protection, conservation, enhancement, and wise use of Trinidad and Tobago's environment? Did you say you was going to answer that question correct? Um, yeah. That answer is correct, my friend. <laughs> well done to you. Good job. Katifa, here we go. What is the goal for limiting temperature increase globally? Is it A, 0 0.2 degrees Celsius? Is it B, 1 degree Celsius? Is it C, 2 degrees Celsius? Or is it D, 4 degrees Celsius? I'll go with C, 2 degrees Celsius. Yes, that is correct. Well done. Well done to bishops. Let's see if Khalil can add some, uh, some much needed points to your team's tally, my friend. Let's go, let's go. Which of the following is a step the Environmental Management Authority made towards sustainable development? Is it A, providing a transparent framework to facilitate policy making? Is it B, planting more trees? Is it C, promoting educational and public awareness programs? Or is it D, conducting analysis of air, water and land for environmental studies? E providing a transparent framework to facilitate policy making. Yes, that answer is correct. Well done, Khalil. Well done to you. We go across to Alyssa. Alyssa, your question. Trinidad and Tobago has committed to unconditionally reduce its public transport emissions by what percentage by the year 2030? Is it A, 10%, B, 20%, C, 30%, or D, 40%? I'll go with B, 20%. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. We can jump across to player number four. Alessio, you have a chance to answer. I'll go with C, 30%. Yes, that answer is correct. That answer is correct. Your question, Alessio. What measures can be used to significantly reduce fossil fuel use? Is it A, lower prices of hydrocarbon generation generated power? Is it B, health campaigns? C, reduce subsidies on hydrocarbon generated power, or D, none of the above? D, none of the above. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. We go to player number four. Alyssa, you have a chance to add five points. Um, a, lower prices of hydrocarbon generated power. Unfortunately, friends, that answer is also incorrect. The proper answer should read C, reduce subsidies on hydrocarbon generated power. Power. We move across to Isis. Isis, your question, approximately what percentage of the sun's heat is absorbed by the oceans? Is it A, 35%? Is it B, 50%? Is it C, 75%? Or is it D, 90%? I believe the answer is D, 90%. That answer is correct. Yes, well done. <laughs> that is the answer. 
The battle is tight. We're coming down to a nail-biting end of this particular round. Aiden, it's all up to you, sir. Which of the following cannot be described as a renewable resource? Is it A, geothermal power? Is it B, solar power? How about C, natural gas? Or possibly D, wind power? I believe the answer is C, natural gas. Yes, that answer is correct. Well done. Well done to both teams on this particular round. Trinity College East and Bishops battling head to head and they're looking really good. Let me tell you how good they are. Both teams are poised at 80 points apiece. It is coming down to a nail biting end, my friends. Don't you dare move anywhere. It's gonna be a good one. Stay with us. Fruta. Fruta full of vitamin thing. Real fruit juice. Not full of vitamin. We got the vibes. Fruta. Real, real nice. Fruta. Proud title sponsor of the CZITT National Secondary School Climate Quiz. Welcome back to the show. We begin this third round of competition with both teams poised at 80 points apiece. It is going to be a nail-biting end. Let's see how it unfolds. Kaylee, first up, since the, the 1870s, how much CO2 has been produced by human activity? Is it A, 100 megatons? Is it B, 1,000 gigatons? Is it C, 2,000 gigatons? Or is it D, 2,100 gigatons? I'll go with C, 2,000 gigatons. That answer is correct, yes. <laughs> Very good start to the round, don't you think? Yes. Do you think you have the capabilities to uh, live up to the ladies across there? Maybe so, maybe. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Confident answer. Jamali, let's go, bro. Which of the following is a locally grown tree that has very high carbon sequestration? properties and produces a healthy food is it a breadfruit is it b banana is it c moringa or d neem so i would c moringa yes that is correct that is correct <laughs> listen i'm not too sure if these folks are as excited as i am it is really coming down to the end here kyra how much of the world's population lives within 100 kilometers of the ocean? Is it A, 50%, B, 60%, C, 70%, or D, 80%? Is it D, 80%? Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. We jump across to player number two. Malik, you have a chance, sir, to steal five points. Is it C, 70%? Unfortunately, that answer is also incorrect. The proper answer should read, B, 60%, all right? So Malik, your official question is as follows. What fraction of life on the planet is projected to become extinct with a two degrees Celsius global temperature rise? Is it A, about an eighth, B, about a quarter, C, about a third, or D, about a half? Is it C, about a third? Yes, that answer is correct. That answer is correct. So just about 10 points separating both teams. Katifa, let's see if you can make it even, all right? When was the Paris Climate Conference held? Is it A, November 2015, B, December 2015, C, September 2016, or D, December 2016? B, December 2015. That answer is correct, yes. Well done. Well done. Khalil, my smiling friend, he's bubbling with confidence. Yes, that's what I like to see, Khalil. What is estimated to be the temperature increase in 2100 if carbon emissions are cut by 50% by 2050 and zero by the year 
2100. Let's see. Is it A, 1, one degree Celsius, B, 2 degrees Celsius, C, 4 degrees Celsius, or is it D, 8 degrees Celsius? A, 1 degree Celsius. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. We jump across to player number three. You have a chance now, Katifa, to steal five points. Let's say B, 2 degrees Celsius. Yes, that answer is very much correct. <laughs> Things are heating up, Alyssa. Let's do this. Let's do this. Which of the following is an ozone depleting substance? Is it A, carbon dioxide? Is it B, chlorine? Is it C, water vapor? Or is it D, nitrous oxide? A, carbon dioxide. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. We go across here now to Alessio. You have a chance to steal five points. Is it D, nitrous oxide? That answer is also incorrect. The proper answer should read B, chlorine. Your official question is as follows. What is the standard time period used when describing global warming potential? Is it A, 10 years? Is it B, 50 years? Is it C, 100 years? Or is it D, 1,000 years? C, 100 years. Yes, that answer is correct. That answer is very much correct. We go across to ISIS. Here is your chance now to make amends. Let's see if you can pull it off for your team, all right? Mm -hmm. What is the focus of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 7? Is it A, affordable and clean energy? B, reduced inequalities? C, sustainable cities and communities? Or D, climate action? I believe the answer is A, affordable and clean energy. High five. Good job. Well done. <laughs> yes. Yes. We are ready to rumble, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you the score so far. It's 115 to Bishops, 110 to Trinity East. Aiden, there is absolutely no pressure on you, my friend. No pressure whatsoever. All right, let's go. Approximately how many liters of water is required to produce one pair of jeans? Is it A, 10,000? Is it B, 11,000? Is it C, 12,000? Or is it D, 13,000. I reckon it's C, 12,000. Unfortunately, that answer is incorrect. And uh, Isis, you have a chance to add five points to your tally. Is it A, 10,000? That answer is also incorrect. The proper answer should read B, 11,000 mm -hmm. to wear that pair of jeans and you, all right? So guys, it is really heated. It is really, really, really heated. You know what? How about the results at the end of this round? 110 to Trinity College East, Bishop Anesty 115. What a battle! Amazing. Really, really amazing. And I'm seeing smiles galore, smiles on the right, <laughs> smiles on the left. My good friend here, Khalil, is smiling from air to air nonetheless. And that's the attitude, my friends. Everybody is a winner when it comes down to uh, climate change. Everybody works in one family. You know what? Congratulations to Bishop Anesty High School East. <laughs> Support galore. I love these ladies. They're really good. They give me the energy, man. And gentlemen, well done nonetheless. Well done. Yep, round of applause. Fantastic results. And uh, you know what? To bring some... Uh, words of congratulations. I want to invite Mr. Baldeo Singh, the founder of Seize It. I'm sure he's a very happy man after this entire round. Well, I'm happy, but as I say, sometimes it's good to walk with your heart medication. <laughs> it was a really close fight um, among a brother and sister school. So when you say about the family, remember that we all as one family fighting to save the planet. Um, I think you all should ask for a rematch. <laughs> and we can give that to you next year in the season, season three of the climate quiz. But this year, very well done, young men. You, you put up a good fight. You studied hard. You commanded the material. Today, the girls' school took the honors. And we congratulate you and look forward to you moving on in the competition. Both schools took our CZ climate catastrophe pledge which means that you are dedicating 
time and effort towards saving the planet. We're very grateful for that and we congratulate you for that also. And to work on, uh, looking forward to working further with you on our 1000 Trees Challenge and all areas that we can fight climate change. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Baldeo Singh, and members of the Seize It family. Friends, that brings us to the end of this, uh, this particular episode. Congratulations once again to Bishop's Anesty School East and a fantastic competition indeed. It was a heated battle. Remember, friends, you can do your part to make Trinidad and Tobago a carbon neutral country. My name is Sachin Ramsubag. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye.